guys, today I'm going to teach you how to play this song called In Christ Alone. I'm going to play this song in the key of G, and I'm going to transpose negative 3, so it's going to be an E. Um, and this is this song is going to be a mixture of the Lifeway Worship version and the Passion version. So it's going to be a mixture of those two. So I'm going to start with the intro, and I'll just go ahead and play that. So what I'm doing is, in my left hand, I'm playing the chords like this. For G, it's going to be G, D, and G. For C, it's C, G, and C. And then E minor, which is E, B, and E. And then down to C again, which is C, G, and C. So those are going to be all my chords for the intro. And if you can't reach this far, if you can't play that octave, then you can just play the one in the five like this. But I'm going to be doing this. And then in my right hand, I'm going to play this riff. the multi tracks intro two three verse one and then for verse one it's going to be just whole notes the whole time um, and what I'm doing is playing octaves in my left hand the whole time. So I'll just play all those chords to show you what it'll look like. first half of the verse one and then this next part where it starts with heights of love that's also considered the chorus but some people call it um still part of verse one so what you're going to do here is play um i like to play this rift i mean this pattern in my left hand sometimes i'll show you what that looks like So what that um, pattern is in my left hand is like this. Okay, so for the, for what heights of love, whenever it starts that, like I was saying, I use that pattern. So the pattern is going to be, it's called a 1-5-1 one one pattern. So I do it sometimes on some chords and then not on others. I don't want to do it on every chord or that might sound too loud and this is supposed to be like a quieter chorus, a softer chorus. So the first chord of the chorus is G over B and then there's a C and I usually play the rift, I mean the pattern on the C chord. So I'm taking the first note of the scale, the fifth note, and then the first note again. So that would be C, G, C. And then here, 
is a G over B and then a B minor. So I'm gonna play, I'm gonna play it like this. G over B. And I'm just gonna move this finger down to here. to the interlude again which is going to be the same as the intro so now we'll play the verse one and the chorus and the interlude all together verse one interlude it's gonna be you're gonna want to build just a little bit so it's gonna be a continual build through the whole song so I'm starting to get louder in the interlude so I might do something like this so I'm gonna play my left hand like twice but just this part I'm gonna play a second time so it's gonna be like this together it would sound like this. And then at the end of the verse one, whenever you're going into this interlude, it's going to be um, an awkward pause. So it took me a while to get it, to get where I needed to come in, but I'll play it for you again so that you can see how it goes. going to be a little bit louder than the verse one. just louder. So I might play something like this. to the interlude again. 
and this is still so building so i might play it like this <laughs> Okay, so now I'll play that chorus and the interlude together after verse 2. Chorus! the verse three it's going to be a breakdown for the first two lines um and then and then bursting forth in glorious day is whenever you're going to want to start coming in is when you're going to come in so um for the first half or for the first two lines it's going to be just tone notes like this into the chorus after the verse three. So now I'll play the verse three. Verse three. just going to be still you're just getting louder so just add more chords in like this and then that interlude after the chorus is still going to be louder and whenever i do a rift up here i like to add in this top note like that so it's going to sound like this so all i'm doing is whenever i play this part i'm just adding this in and it just makes the whole riff sound fuller because you're getting louder so now I'll play the chorus and the interlude together. Chorus. of the song so this is going to be the loudest verse and then after verse four it's going to be the loudest chorus so you're just going to want to build a lot here i mean not build you're going to want to get louder here so i might play something like this
verse 4 is you're not playing like full out as loud as you can because there's still a chorus after this. So you want to save the loudest for that part. So you're not going full out, but you're still going really loud. So, and then whenever it gets to the chorus, like I said, it's going to be full out um, like this. <laughs> That's it.